brace yourself for some broad sweeping statements and some bro science. The top 0.1% of commercial photographers have an agent. Now, this is some bro science. This is some very, ooh, this is not statistically sound. My lecturer from uni would be absolutely disgusted in me. But there are 75,000 people putting in a tax return. 104 of them have an agent. That's about 0.1%. But of course, not all 75,000 of those are in the line of photography work that needs an agent. But not many people have an agent. But if you want to be a commercial photographer making big money, you kind of need an agent or you need to be established enough that you have your own. So big photographers don't have an agent because they make so much money that given 20% across is actually more expensive than hiring your own in-house management team and marketing team. So for those who don't know, the way it works is for someone like me, for example, I've got my agent, there's a producer in there, there's an accounts person in there, there's a marketing person in there, and they've got an office somewhere trendy in London. And you know, they take 20% of my income. Um, which is a good deal because to hire all of those people would actually work out more expensive. Now, there is a difference between these 0.1% of photographers and the rest. And when I say the rest, we're going to remove anyone who does baby photography, family portraits, school photography, anything where it's not business to business commercial work. There is no way of me breaking down that stat from those 75,000 people, but assume half, maybe, probably even, even less than that, want to do this. So, Maybe we've got 10,000 people and 104 who are in, as it were. And I've been meeting with a lot of photographers who have agents recently. Um, we've been socialising. It's been grand. I've met some very famous people uh, in the photography world. I've met some very good people who no one will have ever heard of outside of the very creative industry. And I've also met a lot of people who don't have agents. I've actually helped three photographers so far get an agent um, through my one-to-one -one mentorship. But... Generally speaking, most people do not. And there are some differences. There are some big, big differences. Number one, every photographer I've met with an agent is a nice person. They just are. They're all nice. They're all lovely. They're all really kind, nice people. And I think that is relevant. Um, they're not difficult. They're not tricky to work with. They're not egotistical. They're just nice people. And, you know, I think that probably counts for a lot of the reason why they have an agent. And some people don't. They're just really nice, nice people. Another thing to note is every single one of them has a style. They all have a style that is different to everyone else's. That's probably why there's so few of them, because it's very difficult to come up with a style that's different to everyone else's. They all have their own thing, which is just them. They shoot exactly what it is to be them. They shoot work, which is them. They basically are creatives, and all they do is create their thing. And the reason this matters is because for an agent to sell you, they need to be able to do what's called an elevator pitch. So for me, it's really easy for Lisa to get in an elevator and go, oh, Scott's a bold and graphic still life food and drink photographer. He'd be perfect for this. Is his work a bit, yeah, it's a bit pop art like. Yeah, it's quite nostalgic as well. All of a sudden, it's very easy to do that. Whereas if I'm just a food photographer who just photographs food, Scott photographs food, what does it look like? Food photography, not so easy. So that's the next thing I think it's very important to note that Everybody there has a style. Now, the third thing is a bit of a taboo subject. And it, it shouldn't be the case, but it is the case. They all live in London. Everyone lives in London. Uh, and if they don't live in London, much like me, we have a link in London. Uh, whether it's a, a property we have in London, whether it's like our friendship groups in London, or whether we lived in London but moved out once we'd signed... We're all in London. Um, it's very rare. It's not impossible and it's not unheard of. Um, Lisa's just signed a Bristolian. Uh, Bristolian, I assume it's word, someone from Bristol, um, photographer. But you know, generally speaking, everyone's in London. Um, just are. Everyone socialises in London, they network in London. We all shoot in London. Like Despite the fact that I've got this studio here, this is just for test shoots. If we're doing a job, we're in London. Uh, unless it's a really small job and then, yeah, maybe we'll do it here to save money. But yes, we're in London. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, do hit subscribe. It really helps my channel. The more subscribers I have, the more money it makes, and therefore, the more I can put into these videos. I'm doing a real push at the moment trying to get more subscribers because that is now the limiting factor on producing higher quality videos. I just need a bit more cash to do so. And then let's go through to the final point and what makes these photographers different, and it's personal work. And again, you've heard me say this before, but I just think it's good to reiterate. Personal work is the key. When I was meeting with agents to sign with Lisa, I met with them, met many agents, went to see them all, went to have coffee with them, lunch with them, drinks with them. Drinks are always fun. 
And they all wanted to know about my personal work. They all wanted to know what is it you're working on at the moment? What is it you're trying to do? What is your creative outlet? That's what they care about. That's what they're really interested in. They don't care about what brands you've shot. And, you know, there's a small amount of going, well, do you have experience working in this field? But the majority of it is, what, what are you working on? What's your creative process like? What, what are you doing at the moment that is different to everyone else that we can sell? And that is what really matters in this industry. And I hope this has been of use to you. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.